Good Thursday, everybody. I'm senior student meteorologist Stephen Padlisi here with a look at the forecast on this last day of March. And while the temperatures are quite mild out there with in the mid-60s, unfortunately, we are dealing with quite a bit of cloud coverage, and that will remain through the day today. One of the reasons for that is because it couldn't be more humid. Literally, we're having a what we have a 100% humidity with a temperature of 54 degrees and a dew point also of 54 degrees. So it's definitely muddy out there as well as considerably warmer than normal. So a severe risk does exist tonight with some thunderstorms with wind and small hail. I'll get to that in just a moment. A seasonable weekend does look to be on the way, though, and then there is a risk of a storm on Wednesday. We'll touch on that in the extended forecast a bit later on. But first, let's show you our current satellite. Here's Dan Barry, and there is quite a bit of cloud coverage over our area. And unfortunately, if we look back to the west, there's quite a bit more. All of this has to make its way on through our area, and therefore, we will remain cloudy for the entirety of the day today. This is partly because of a warm front that's near us right now, and this is why we have clouds at this exact moment. But what will produce our storms later is this cold front across western Pennsylvania, and that will be pushing through our area in the overnight hours tonight, giving us the chance of some severe thunderstorm activity around 11 o'clock this evening or so. On our radar, we'll see what we're talking about here. Not much rain in terms of anything in the vicinity right now, even though we do have that warm front nearby. The rain is really off to our west, and the line that you see here uh, just across parts of uh, western New York through Rochester and down through central Pennsylvania. That's the more intense line of thunderstorms that we'll be dealing with in the overnight hours tonight. Let's time that out for you as well. So here we are at 5 o'clock. There's the Danbury area. Not much in the way of thunderstorms here. There could be some showers around. But the big story is going to be back here off to our west across parts of eastern Pennsylvania. This isn't good. This is a situation where there could be some damaging winds, large hail, and even tornadoes across that part of the country. But fortunately, that will not be the case in our area because by the time it gets here, it will have weakened considerably. But there is still a chance of some gusty winds and small hail as this line of thunderstorms moves through our area at about 11 o'clock tonight. By 4 a.m., though, this will be gone, long gone off to our east and we will be primarily dry, although a few lingering showers are certainly possible to begin your Friday morning. So for the remainder of the afternoon, we're dealing with some scattered showers, especially later in the afternoon. But we are certainly mild with temperatures in the mid-60s. So definitely that's a big plus compared to where we were just a few days ago. And then for tonight... Not looking too good. Heavy rain and thunderstorms likely. These storms could be severe, especially around the 11 o'clock time frame. So definitely keep your eye on that with wind out of the south at 7 to 15. Although after that frontal passage, they will likely shift out of the west. So to our extended forecast, tomorrow there could be, as I was saying earlier, a few lingering showers in the morning. But for the most part, we should be primarily sunny, especially the later you go into the day with temperatures in the upper 50s. Saturday looks just fine with sunny skies and seasonable conditions, a pretty pleasant second day of April. And then Sunday, there will be mostly cloudy, a few, a small risk of some shower activity. It doesn't look like anything too significant, but you might want to bring the umbrella if you have outdoor plans. Monday, mainly sunny. Tuesday, the exact opposite, mainly cloudy. And we are watching the chance of a fairly significant storm system to be around our area Wednesday. That would certainly be all rain, but it could have a pretty decent impact on your plans for Wednesday. So I just want to throw that out there uh, a bit early. Thank you so much for watching. I'm senior student meteorologist Stephen Puglisi. Be sure to follow us across the social media platforms and have a great day.